Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. Quick intro video. I was out this weekend and I was picking up free stuff all over the place and I put some videos together and they didn't quite come out the way they want them so I gotta kinda break them up a little bit. This is the beginning of a scrap video. I left my house early today because I wanted to go to the flea market and on the way there I picked up this huge load of metal. And I was on my way to the flea market and I found all this scrap metal. These are uh, air conditioners. Um, somebody must have had a double unit in their house because those are the two outside guys, one and two. And here are the inside heat exchangers. So all, all this has to come apart and become sheet metal or um, I completely processed all the copper and radiators and um, compressors and fan motors and dirty copper from those air conditioners I found alongside the road. So there were two complete units. So I have two of these compressors. They weigh quite a bit. I'd say between the two of them at least 100 pounds. This... I don't know, about 20 pounds. This is the cleaner copper. There are no solder joints on it. I went through the trouble of making sure that, once again, no solder here. This is the junkier copper, right? You know, it's got solder joints on it. A lot of work to break all this off. And I have some brass. The brass probably goes for a little less money. And there are three of these small radiators one two three this is the bigger of the three and then there's two of these that are the same I cut the end off the steel off because I think I get more money that way so what I'd like you guys to do is I'd like you to guess how much um, how much I'm gonna get on this I'm hoping I'm really hoping for around 50 and the reason why I'm hoping for 50 is because I am stone cold broke and I and 50 bucks it really help a little bit here so I don't know if this is call it 10 pounds I don't know what's clean copper going for two bucks so that's 20 you know what I'm lucky I'm lucky if I got $30 worth 40 30 or 40 yeah, I don't even think I'm going to hit 50. Shoot. I'm not going to get rich at this, folks. Anyway, um, I'm going to... I'll put the uh, the current prices of scrap at the... I'll add it to this video. I'll, I'll splice the two of them together. Um, right now, kind of with the stuff going on between the United States and China, I'm not, I'm not thinking that uh, China's buying all that much scrap. Normally... Normally the scrap side of the uh, equation has a tendency to get weak first. I gotta tell you, if it's... You know what, if it's, uh, if it's below 40 bucks, I don't know, I probably have about, between picking this stuff up, carrying it home, unloading it, taking it apart, separating it, and uh, all that kind of stuff, I probably have four hours invested in it. So, uh... Yeah, I'm not, if I don't make at least 40 bucks, I didn't make 10 bucks an hour, which means for, uh, for doing all this work and getting scratches and scrapes and all the other stuff, quite honestly, it just doesn't pay. I can see why the guy had him on the side of the road and just left him there. All right, we'll see. Anyway, good morning. So I ran scrap yesterday and I got 65 bucks for it. So the compressors were 10 cents a pound. Number one copper was just under two bucks a pound. Electric motors were 10 cents a pound. Brass was a dollar a pound. Copper number two looks like a dollar 80. And um, the radiators, remember I cut the metal off the ends of, of them. It had some uh, steel on the ends of it where the copper tubes went through. And that went for, they went for 50 cents a pound. So, basically, from picking up some roadside junk 
and I put in like three hours on it, a little over three hours. Um, I made 65 bucks and I don't know, 15 bucks an hour. To me, it was worthwhile at the moment because I'm, I'm a little, kind of a little tight. I've been spending a lot of money, as you guys could see, on all, all my toys, and the wife's been kind of ringing my bell for that a little bit. So it was worthwhile. I, I thought it was worthwhile. A lot of people will say, you know what, for $15 an hour, I'm not going to scrape up my hands and you know go through all that work of lifting things and hauling it and all that other kind of stuff well I also recycling is not a bad thing to do um, and I'm I'm glad I, I did that chances are if it sat out there long enough somebody else would have picked it up and recycled it but they might not have gone through the trouble of breaking up um, or separating the metals like I did they might have just thrown it on the truck and been happy with the four or five cents a pound you get for uh, for mixed metal like that I'm I'm happy one thing I have to say and every time I, I run scrap and so forth people who do scrapping for a living are working very hard it's not it's not an easy <laughs> It's not an easy job. It's not the, you know, oh, piece of cake. I'm going to go pick up metal and make a million bucks. In my case, I happen to be going by and I threw it in the truck. If one is driving around looking for scrap, your gas bill is much bigger than mine. Um, and you kind of pick up whatever you could get because it might be the only pickup for the day. So if it's a bathtub with cast iron you pick it up and then once again you're driving down the road and you see this this great pile of copper or mixed metals of an air conditioner and you got this huge bathtub in your your truck and what do you do you can't throw it overboard people get cranky about you swapping bathtubs for air conditioners so you you got to kind of squeeze it all on there and you know you got to hope the cops don't give you any trouble you got to hope you don't break your truck or when you bring it to the scrap yard run something over that puts a hole in your tire you know what scrappers work very hard and i just like to do a shout out for all those scrappers out there you guys you guys are earning your 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 keep everybody <laughs> typically works hard in whatever tasks they they work at but I for today the scrappers are getting a shout out anyway I want to thank everybody who uh, took the time to watch this video I want you all to keep your feet down your heads up and I want you all to get out there and enjoy your day bye now